Hey guys, we're back. Um, today, let's go ahead and knock out this hard top. I'm gonna make this one rather quick. I'm actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the hard top done. So there won't be a whole lot of talking. I feel like I've explained a lot of body work stuff to you guys already. And I don't wanna make the videos all about just body work cause that gets entirely boring. So let's try and get some progress done. If I can get this hard top done today, same with the hood and the trunk, then all that we're missing is the entire driver's side and the back bumper. And then from there, all we got to do is wet sand and paint the car. So that's the goal for today is to try and get these knocked out. And hopefully get one step closer to getting this car on the, back on the road. All right. Hard top is all prepped and ready to go. Uh, there's a lot of crusty adhesive that was stuck here that I took my uh, die grinder and just kind of got majority of it out of the way. We're gonna just put more adhesive over it, so I'm not super concerned about getting rid of all of it, I guess. But yeah, um, hard top's ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down with some wax and grease remover, and we can go ahead and lay down our first coat of primer. All right, now that it's all clean, we just gotta go ahead and tape off these moldings just because they're glued in. I don't really wanna pull them out to re-glue them back in. And then we're gonna tack it with a tack rag and we'll go ahead and lay down our first coat of primer. All right, and just like that, the hard top is fully primed. We went ahead and did two coats. Um, I added 20% reducer to it, so that way it almost act like a sealer and it would be nice and smooth and wouldn't really require any sanding. Uh, take a look at it, it looks perfect. It looks really sleek. Um, there's some little debris right there, but that's, that's really about it and I honestly think once this dries, I can just, you know, wipe my hand across it and knock those little nibs out. But other than that, the rest of it looks fantastic. I was really hoping I could get these high spots further in. I had sanded them down for quite a while. Um, the mounting hardware for this hardtop is on the back side of this. And the previous owner, when they installed it, they used bolts that are way too long and it pushed the fiberglass out. So I tried sitting there and sanding it for a while, but Oh well, it is what it is. I'm not super concerned. But yeah, other than that, at this point, we gotta wait for it to fully dry. Cause then I gotta tape off all this line down here cause I'm painting the side blades black. So we're gonna give this about another 10, 15 minutes to dry. And then we'll uh, go ahead and start taping off here on the side. All right, we went ahead and got the side blades all taped off. At this point now, we're gonna go ahead and mix up some gloss black. I'm gonna add a little bit of red sparkle to it just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. And then from there, once that dries, we gotta tape that off, shoot the rest of the hard top the purple, and then from there, it's just clear coat and we're all done. All right, and just like that, the side blades are basically done. At this point, we just need about one more layer of base. Um, you can't really tell just because of the lighting in here but there is red pearl in here. I kind of followed the same thing we did with the lip where we added two coats with the red pearl and then two coats of just regular black over it to kind of lessen the effect of that red. So I'm just waiting for this one to flash and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lay over one more coat of just straight black. And then from there, we gotta wait for this to fully dry so that way we can essentially retape it down and then do the rest of the hard top. But yeah, pretty stoked with how this is coming out. Again, this is just base coat. This is without clear. And um, yeah, it's it's coming out great. We're gonna have to wet sand and buff it just so that way we can get rid of a lot of that orange peel. But we're making progress. All right, now that the side blades are done on the hard top, I'm gonna go ahead and tape them off. I got a little bit of overspray there, don't mind that. 
I'm gonna tape them off and I'm gonna wet sand the whole top of the hard top with uh, 600 grit. Now, one thing is I had to redo this side. When I was taking the masking off, part of the plastic sheet touched the tacky paint and left an imprint. I thought, hey, maybe I'll just sand down one side so I wouldn't have to do the whole two coats with red pearl and then two coats of regular black on top. And I kind of regret it. If you look closely, you see how the the camera almost distorts right there. Yeah, that is like a small indent because it's now not all the way leveled. Now, it's not the biggest of deal and I don't have enough paint to have to sand all of it off and then do the whole process again. So I, I think I'm just gonna leave it. I might just redo it later. I don't know, we'll see. Either way, uh, we're waiting for this to dry so I can tape off this side. And then once this is done and I'm done wet sanding, we'll go ahead and paint the hardtop. All right, everything's gone ahead and been wet sanded. Now we just gotta wipe it all up, uh, clean it with wax and grease remover, tack cloth, and then we're ready for base coat. two coats of base laid down. It's coming out super evenly and nice. We see there's not much orange peels, a couple little dirt nips, but nothing too bad. Really stoked with how this is coming out. I'm noticing my gun is spraying a little unevenly and I'm noticing a little bit of tiger striping. It's not super noticeable. If you go like right directly in the light right here, you'll see a couple spots here and there. I am going to go over it with one more coat and I'm going to lay it on super thick. Um, that way we can get a lot of that covered. But other than that, it's coming out great. I'm really stoked with how it's looking. Um, also, when I said, oh, we might need to redo this. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to need to redo this. It's uh, sticking to the paint. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, as soon as this is done drying, I'm going to give this a few hours. And then I'm gonna come back, retape it, sand the entire piece down and just redo it the right way. That way it can all be perfect, right? I, I'm a little bummed that I kind of skipped and cut a corner with that thinking, oh, it'll be fine and didn't give it enough time to dry. But you know what? Let's go ahead and do it the right way since we're already here anyway. And just like that, three coats later, the hard top is done. At this point, we just gotta go ahead and let it all dry. We got rid of those tiger stripes I was telling you about. It's still, I mean, it's hard to tell if it's because of the lighting in the garage or if it's the actual hard top. I'll have to uh, bring this out in the sun tomorrow and be able to tell. But I really am pleased with that it came out. Very minimal orange peel, laid down nice and flat. And yeah, I think it looks phenomenal. So from here, we're just gonna let this dry and then we gotta redo this blade over here and we're gonna do it right this time so yeah uh, once that blade is done then all we gotta do is lay down clear coat and the hard top is essentially complete all right we went ahead and redid this blade of the hard top and it looks a ton better super stoked with those results so glad we went ahead and sanded it down and just redid it the hard top is ready now to be clear coated I'm gonna let that flash for about 10 minutes so uh, it's dry, hit everything with wax and grease remover, and then we'll go ahead and uh, lay down clear coat. All right guys, we went ahead and laid down our first coat of clear and it looks spectacular. Minimal orange peel, we got a little bit of dirt in there, but not a big deal, we can wet sand and buff that out. Uh, we went ahead and redid that uh, driver's side blade and when I taped it up, I guess I didn't do the best of job because I got a little bit of black base coat right here. And I tried wet sanding it out the best that I could, but I didn't want to risk ruining the base coat of the, of the purple. So I got most of it out and just figured, you know what, if anybody notices that little detail, they're probably getting a little bit too close to my car. So we're just gonna leave it as it is and enjoy the fact that 
90% of the rest of it came out spectacular. And I'm really in love with how this is coming out. Gets me even more excited to paint the rest of the car and see it all completed in this color. So we're going to give this about another three minutes to flash. We've been waiting about 10 minutes now. And then we're going to go ahead and lay down our second coat of clear. And then after that, we'll go ahead and let it dry overnight. And tomorrow it'll be all done. All right, guys, went ahead and laid down our second coat of clear. Everything looks spectacular. There's a very small amount of orange peel, but again, it's not a big deal. Honestly, really stoked with how this came out. Um, it's still super wet, so we're going to let this dry overnight. But yeah, really excited to get the rest of the car this same color. Um, I know you can't really tell just because we're in, under, uh, you know, the garage lights right now, but in the sun, this is going to sparkle a lot. This paint has a lot of pearl in it and yeah, I think it looks, looks really, really good, but I think we're going to cut it here, guys. Um, this was just, again, another, you know, quick little upload on, you know, just having fun in the garage, I guess, right? We didn't need to get the hard top done just yet, but you know, I figured I want to get the bigger things done so then I can focus on the car. Um, painting the hard top on the car would have made it a little bit more difficult and a little bit more challenging just because some of the crevices and how it like sits. So it made more sense to paint this off of the car than it would on the car. Um, once we're done here, once it's done drying, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cover it with plastic and then we'll move on to the rest of the car. Um, what we're going to focus on next is tackling that trunk. Um, I got to fill in where um, those holes were on that wing. We already welded them shut, but I got to lay down some filler on top so it, it's nice and smooth and even. Once that's done, um, then there's three dents on the driver's side that we have to knock out and that will be rather quick. I just got to get my uh, dent puller and you know my stud welder on there and you know use the slide hammer and it'll, it'll pull those dents right out so that won't take too long once the trunk and the driver's side is done we can go ahead and lay down primer uh then all that's missing is the rear bumper and the top of the hood which i think we'll be able to knock out in the same video as well and once all that's done we still have a little bit of body work on the passenger side um there's some areas where the primer just didn't lay on super good so i'm going to sand those down and then from there we'll wet sand the entire car and then it's time to lay down some some base coat but uh before we get there i'm going to knock out the door jams first just so that way i can get those done and out of the way and then i can go ahead and focus on doing the rest of the body so first things first finish body work prime the rest of the car once that's done we'll go and tackle the door jams um i also want to do the underside of the trunk as well and as well as the areas of the trunk when you open it that you see the um chassis of the car i want all of it to be the same color so we're probably definitely going to need at least another half gallon of paint so i'm gonna call the paint shop on monday and Hopefully they'll be able to get me a good reasonable coat on another half gallon. But yeah, other than that, that's it for today, guys. Thanks again for tagging along and, uh, you know, joining us for this. And yeah, we're, we're making, we're making progress. It's the vision is starting to come through and it, it's getting me really excited. But here's a final look at the hard top. It looks great. Honestly love 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 this color and it looks even crazier when it's out in the sun when there's light on it and the pearl is really shimmering through so i can't wait to have the rest of the car done pull it out into the driveway and then show you guys the final reveal of it but yeah uh this is it so yeah we'll go ahead and end it here guys and uh we'll see you on the next one